Hello friends, welcome to this lecture of software engineering where I will discuss about the remaining types of black box testing. In my last lecture, I had discussed about integration uh, unit testing and integration testing in the black box testing. Unit test, in unit testing, I had told, I had told you that in unit testing, uh, all the individual units of the software are basically tested by the developer before handing them to the tester. But the limitation of the unit testing is the limited data available there. When we talk about the integration testing, we have to combine the, uh, the individual units of the software in order to be tested as a single unit. And when we perform integration testing, there are two procedures for that and they are top-down approach and bottom-up approach and when we talk about these two approaches we always follow the bottom-up approach first before the top-down approach now let us discuss about the third type of the black box testing So the third type of the black box test testing is the system testing. This kind of testing, as the name suggests, is performed over system as whole to check whether system is working as per or you can say system is working in correct manner or right manner or not and this is what we call verification and as I told you, whether you do the unit testing, whether you do the integration testing, whether you do the system testing or another kind of the black box testing, we are in a process of doing the verification whether the system is working fine, correctly or not. So in system testing, or sometimes we say that the system testing, it always is, it is always considered as the first phase of SDLC. SDLC basically stands for the software development life cycle and in the software development life, life cycle in one of the first stage we are uh, in the first stage we basically discuss the system testing where we have to check whether the system is working properly as a whole or not. Fine. So uh, make sure that when you talk about the first phase of SDLC you don't have to get confused about that in first phase we have basically the uh, so, uh, software requirement specification. Uh, make sure that when we have the SRS, we have to make sure that we are achieving a software as per the SRS or not. And for that, we perform the system testing. And that's why it, it is considered to for constitute the first phase of the SDLC. In system testing, moreover, uh, It is always performed in the actual environment where a system has to be, uh, where the system is developed so that we can check whether it is working properly or not. And we try, we try to test it further 
in the environment where it is going to be used and this is basically done at the acceptance level testing right so it is all about the system testing next next type of the testing is the regression testing when we talk about the regression testing it becomes important that once we have developed the software and once we move to the uh, level of the system testing we are in a position that uh, our most of the errors have been fixed till this stage but sometimes it happens that uh, even a simple uh, sometimes it happens that uh, a small or minor error can lead to a big problem in a system and in order to fix that kind of the error we basically use the regression testing so when we talk about the regression testing we basically mean that we have to check whether the system is not affected yeah or we can say we have to check whether the system uh, is robust enough to deal with small deal with minor to major problems that can occur during the software usage so we will discuss about more more details uh, we will discuss the so regression testing in details and the other testing that is called the acceptance testing in our next lecture